absolutely amazing. It's unbelievable to come up against them kind of players and perform like that and get the win. It's unbelievable. These fans are absolutely amazing. Best fans I've ever played in front of. Endo. We're seeing a record crowd of, you know, since 1994. That must be great for, for a worker and player like yourself to, to walk out here. <laughs> it's special, it's special. It's very... The reason I signed up working in town again last year was to play in front of these fans because they're amazing. This is the best feeling I've ever had in my career without a shadow of a doubt. Yeah, mate, uh, we know, we know they, they've got to be a strong team and they're going to come in the first half and, and fire up. So, yeah, we know our discipline in the first half, they let us down, but, you know, um, give all the credit to Scotland there, you know, they're very strong. Yeah, it's pretty inspiring for us boys, you know, to put that much effort in and, and come away with a win. It was tough. Like it was, as you can see, it was really, really tough. We got off to a good start in the first half, and they threw so much at us in that second half. And I've almost never felt a momentum swing like that in my life. It was, it was hard to contain. Those boys up the middle for Tonga must have a lot to do with it. Some real, uh, some tough characters there. Some, some tough guys to stop. Yeah, massively. My shoulders killing. Um, they're big humans, and and they run hard, and they're physical, they're aggressive, they fight to play quick, they got good flexibility. You know, they're built for that sort of game up the middle and um, we couldn't really contain them for, for a long period there. But, you know, right, obviously just putting that effort right to the 80th minute, it paid off for us, you know, so. Yeah, yeah, we, um, you know, coach um, gave us a bit of a rocket half time and, and, and we come out and we knew we had to play tough um, as soon as the whistle blew. So um, I thought we'd done it well in the second half, but um, like I said before, I mean, we, had to, we had to start well. And you know, what sort of potential did you see achieved tonight from the Tonga side? Do you think you've got more in in, in this tank there? Yeah, definitely. I've, I think we've got a lot more. Um, you know, t today was our first run in a while, so um, <coughs> hopefully uh, uh, next game we'll, we'll start better and, and continue for the whole eighty minutes. Well, we've, we've put our aim as, as getting through, through to the quarter final, you know, getting out to this pool. Uh, I think this the win in the first game was always really important. Um, Italy on Sunday. What what game that's going to be? You know they've set the tournament to light. You know first of all the pre World Cup game win against England and then the win against Wales. Some real quality and, and uh, you know we've we've had a good look at Italy and that game here at, at uh, Workington again is going to going to be brilliant and this this result you know sets that up for what's going to be a fantastic game. And the fans came out in force tonight and really impressive with the noise. I guess you'll be hoping for the same thing again, some more NRL stars on show from Italy and your boys with that great performance have surely won a few neutrals over there. Well, the crowd here uh, and the whole area has, has got behind Scotland. That crowd here, I think there was you know, seven and a half, eight thousand on, unbelievable. You know, that's the biggest crowd they've had here for a long, long time. And, they helped us through it, you know, the noise they, they created, they love the rugby league up here, you know, they're, they're, they're very passionate people and good people as well, you know, we, we've had a, the, the, the benefit of staying here for seven days and, and the, the response we've had around this, this community is unbelievable and, you know, we're thankful of the support they've got and, and hopefully the, the same people and more will come on Sunday and, and they'll see another cracking game.